Well, new questions surfacing today about whether the new Miss USA should lose her crown after some racy pictures of her surfaced. But in the meantime, questions remain about whether she should have won that crown in the first place. Some saying the first runner-up, Miss Oklahoma, was wrongly denied the title because she answered a question about Arizona's immigration law this way. I'm a huge believer in states' rights. I think that's what's so wonderful about America. Thank you. So I think it's per perfectly fine for Arizona to create that law. And I am against illegal immigration, but I'm also against racial profiling. So I see both sides in this issue. Well, that woman, Morgan Willard, who is the Miss Oklahoma, joins me right now. All right, Morgan, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Let's start with that. Do you believe that that answer cost you the crown? No, I don't believe that answer cost me the crown. I think every girl had a controversial issue. Maybe mine was slightly more polarizing than the others, but I felt that I dealt with the answer, and I think I did an excellent job at doing it in a diplomatic manner. Do you feel like it was an unfair question uh, to you? Do you feel there was some judgment from, from that particular judge about that immigration law? I can see why people would think that, but I don't think that was the case, no. Do you think that now, uh, Rima Faki, who is the winner, uh, she's our Miss USA, should be uh, in jeopardy of losing her crown because no, no sooner did she win the title than racy pictures of her have come out. Uh, basically, not stripping, but dancing on a, doing pole dancing in a, in a contest uh, called Stripper 101 that was at some apparent bar or, or uh, some sort of a club. Some, some people now say that this should cost her the crown, and we're told that the Miss USA pageant has asked the radio station that revealed these pictures for more information and for the pictures. Well, I don't feel like I have the right to comment on that. I think that's up to the Miss Universe organization to decide. and. Paula Shugart and Donald Trump. Now, but when asked, when they were asked, I mean, when Miss USA was asked whether this woman's title was in danger, Rima Faki, they declined to answer. All we know is that they're looking into it, they're looking into these pictures, and then we looked up, and you and Rima Faki and the other contestants in, in representing yourselves to this pageant all had to represent that you had not engaged in activities, including dancing or modeling in any sexually oriented club. Did you not? Yes, ma'am, this is correct. So what's your feeling? I mean, do you think that uh, based on those pictures, she may have violated that? That is a possibility that she may have violated that. I think that they have the right to look into this further and make an educated decision. What's that like with, for you sitting here as the, as the potential replacement? I mean, we saw Vanessa Williams, uh, who won Miss America several years ago, lose her title after racy pictures of her came out. We saw a controversy with Miss USA Tara Connor, who reportedly was drinking underage and doing drugs reportedly and kissed Miss Teen USA, got caught on camera doing that. Okay. She almost lost her crown. Miss Nevada, Katie Reese, lost her title after emergence of a sexy photo shoot. If, if Rima Faki is dethroned, you take over. Yes, ma'am. Well, I'm prepared for that, just like I was prepared to answer a question as controversial as I did, and I'm ready for anything. Well, you've got to be sitting here hoping for it, don't you? I mean, it's so much better to be the winner than the first runner-up. <laughs> you know, it would be an honor to represent the Miss Universe organization. It would be an honor to represent Donald Trump, and especially it would be an honor to represent my country. What do you think of those pictures of her? I have no comment. You know, I'm not one to judge other people. And I wish her the best. I truly do. You know, but the, the, the folks who have defended her have said the, the pictures that you and she and others in the, in, the, in the contest posed for in advance of the Miss USA contest are, if not just as sexy, even sexier than showing Rima Faki pole dancing. Uh, and there was a lot of controversy over this. This is her. This is the official pageant-sanctioned photo of her. Uh, I think we've got yours as well, but, you know, there's been a lot of criticism about this being equally sexy, if not more so, than the, than the latest shots. I think you're absolutely correct. It seems that's the direction the Miss Universe organization was going for, and I, I support them in what they wanted to do. Do you think this pageant is still relevant? Absolutely it's relevant. I think Miss USA should be a well-rounded woman. I think that she's able to have a business meeting in the morning, work with best buddies in the afternoon, and do a sexy photo shoot at night. And maybe a little pole dancing in between. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Morgan, thank you so much. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. All the best to you. Thank you. Well, we fear the